the horses, you can dispel belief that they aren't real, it's amazing. But the poignancy of the story and how it transcends um, animals and humans and just exposes the tragedy of war is really fantastic. And my mum will be really impressed that I came and watched it in Cincinnati as she saw it on the West End. I'm just really impressed because the horse looks so realistic and you almost forget the puppeteers and just kind of focus on the horse and the movements are so realistic that it's just been really impressive and really amazing. Would you recommend the show to your friends? Definitely. Oh, definitely. 100%. So the one thing that I am really amazed by is the puppetry of these horses. At first I was kind of concerned would I really get into it? Would I believe that these horses were um, real or would I see the people operating them? And you absolutely get to a point where you see nothing but the horse. You see the horse breathing and the horse kicking and you see the ears moving. And it has all of these mannerisms that tell you that, you know, this is a horse. There are no people operating it. There are no, it's, there's no puppetry. It is just a horse. And it's truly remarkable because it takes you to that place where you really are paying attention to the story. You're not watching what's happening behind the scenes. And I think that's really cool. It's amazing how the puppeteers are, you kind of forget that they're there. And yet the horse looks like it's breathing and acting just normal. It's amazing. Coordination of the action of the horses are very, very good. And the puppeteers sort of blend in after a while. The guy in the front just looks like a train type of person. So, even, even the goose is pretty realistic.